what I'm seeing right now. It was intercepted by Tracy Porter, near side to the 40, and John Sullivan runs him down at the 47-yard line. Come along through here, please. Watch your step. Thank you, Mrs. Treasure. Mother, this is Nabil from the National Statistics Office. Good evening, madam. My mother's parents opened the shop. She was born in the apartment upstairs. Ah, yes, a family-owned business, backbone of the economy. More than 73% of our nation's gross domestic product comes from SMEs, and most are family-owned. Um, yes, sesames. We do sell sesame seeds. Quite nice. Aisle four. Ma, it's SMEs. He means small and medium-sized enterprises. Ah, yes. Well, anyway, 30 years ago, when I was his age, my parents joined the shop with a scrumptious supermarket chain. Then we expanded the shop and changed the name from Treasures Market to Scrumptious Treasures Supermarket with the logo. Franchising, very stable form of SME. Pools risk nicely. Yes. Hmm. So you're here to take a full inventory? Yes, that's right. It's a census. What's a census? In a census, everything is counted. It's an inventory of all the items in the shop and all the other supermarkets and corner shops and petrol station shops and informal markets all over the country. We're gathering data about food for official statistics. Huh? All across the country, we're counting all the food, independent of each item's appearance, color, taste, or nutritional characteristics. But we already report the current inventory of a product whenever we place an order. Yes, of course you do. This is different. Official statistics are independent and unbiased and allow the government to better plan the infrastructure needed to ensure a safe, healthy, and reliable food supply. Also to ensure that farmers, manufacturers, and retailers like yourselves have strong, reliable markets. Who uses the data? Pretty much anyone can. It's a public good. Official statistics are available to the public sector, the private sector, NGOs. And what do they do with it? The data is used to manage agricultural subsidies, school food programs, manufacture of refrigerated trucks, compost bins, display refrigerators, exports, tariffs. Don't forget the chicken feed, rain barrels, scales, fertilizer, pesticide, herbicide, beehives, carrot peelers, egg crates, milking machines, nutrition labels, and scholarships for agriculture students. It's all been in the newspaper for months. If you take your eyes off those silly games on your mobile for once, you'd learn something useful. Whoa. Ref, what are you doing? Give him a yellow card! Two yellow cards! Look, we just took inventory of the produce yesterday. I can just give you our counts and save you some time. Thank you, that's very kind, but no, those counts. Your administrative data, that's for your use. This is different. It's an independent count. The information in this official count from this market will be comparable to and aggregable with data from other locations. Agra what? Aggregable. We can add them together. Apples plus apples, pears plus pears. Just say add. And also disaggregation. We can look at specific characteristics of the items we count. For example, of all the mangoes available all across the country, how many are in markets like this one? How many are in cans? How many are with vendors on the street? Disaggregation. We can do that too. You take this stuff pretty seriously. Yes, we take our responsibilities at the National Statistics Office very seriously. We're unbiased, independent. What's this thing? Looks like a busted microwave. Crossed with a water pump? Hmm, yes, I guess it does sort of look a little like a microwave. I suppose since you're going to be here all night, counting every last thing, you brought your meals with you and you need to heat them up? Oh no, I expect to finish in an hour, maybe two. Two hours? The whole shop? It took us that long just to count the produce. Yes, well, since it's a census, I'll need to collect a bit more information than the simpler counts. We'll get some personal information, some demographic information, some economic information, but don't worry. 
I'll let your son know when we're done and ready to leave. We'll see how the new updates work. This is the CountWrite 6.0, the latest model. Let me show you how it works. Let's start with Produce. Hey, that is fast. But that's just the beginning. Watch this. Oh my, that's amazing. There's more. Oh my, we didn't get all this when we counted the produce yesterday. What? Rotten apples? Where? Not in my shop. It can't be. I'm afraid so. The count right is very precise. You're not going to tell headquarters, are you? They'll be angry if they think we're displaying rotten fruit. Here, tell the count right to report just these ripe ones. I'm sorry. The NSO's job is to count everything. We don't make any judgments about what we count or what is done with the information from the count. We focus on how to count accurately. And once the count is made, I cannot change the information or fail to report it. Can't you just... The fruit count has already been reported, with an alpha of 0.02. .02. Headquarters will consult with the market managers before taking any action. Well, that's good. Maybe they'll finally stop sending me so many of the imported apple varieties. By the time they get here, they're already going bad. So how does this thing work? Let me show you. Mmm. Do you understand all that? Yes, I do. That's my job. To understand all that. At the NSO, we know the statistical methods and how to use them appropriately. What about this rice? How do you count this? When we count, we just look at it and estimate 10 kilograms, 20 kilograms, whatever it looks like. There's no way to count rice. Um, actually, there is a way to count rice. We count everything because everything counts, including rice. In fact, we're much better at counting rice now than we used to be. We spent the last few months working with the National Grain Council to improve the way we count grain. The National Grain Council helped us at the NSO understand all the different types of grain. We were so happy to collaborate with them. We learned so much from them. Without their help and participation, we would have missed a lot of important grains. The Count Right 6.0 includes the latest updates for grain. For seeds too. Let's try it. Hey, the wholesaler told me it was all premium grade. I've been cheated. We just supply accurate information. It's up to you what you do with it. But it can't tell spicy mustard from sweet mustard. They look just alike in the jar, and sometimes the manufacturer's label is wrong. It's only by opening the jar you can tell for sure. Oh, well, um... Actually, yes, of course, you're right. They do look just alike, but CountRight can assess the ingredients and the nutrient value without disturbing the seal on the jar. That's very important. The counting process doesn't damage the items that are counted. Impressive. Well, I suppose we'll leave you to it. If you need anything, my son will be here. He usually spends the evening in the office working on his business administration course at the university. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Goodbye. Okie dokie, County. Let's get you set up. Okay, that looks fine. 
Let's get started. What? Oh, yes, of course. I'm glad you reminded me. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for having us here. I hope you are doing all right. You're probably wondering what's going on. You're probably wondering, who's this guy with the funny little machine? We're here from the National Statistics Office. We're here to count everyone in the shop. We want to count you the way that you think you should be counted. This is the principle of self-identification. So, for example, if you identify yourself as a vegetable, please identify yourself as a vegetable. Even if someone else might identify you as a seed or a grain or a fruit, it's your choice. You may also choose multiple identities or choose not to disclose your personal identity. Tomatoes, do you understand? Your choice. Okay, time to get started then. What now? Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. We want to find truth. We are not judging, just truth. Hello, Nabil. This is Cora Treasure at Treasure Supermarket. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for calling. So what did you think of the count? I'm really impressed. These official statistics have given me a much greater understanding of what's in the market. Oh, good. Did anything surprise you? The produce count is similar to what I expected, but the bottled goods, I didn't even know we had any pickles. A lot of market managers across the country didn't realize they had pickles. Pickles have often been overlooked, but the count rate is designed to count them and everything else that's been overlooked too. We count produce all the time because, you know, it has a limited shelf life and if it goes bad, it smells and no one likes that. But pickles, all those long lasting products, sometimes I just forget we have them. Anything else surprise you? Well, of course. I mean, how could I have imagined here on page 86? Oh, yes, that was a bit of a surprise. Are you sure this is right? Yes, we checked it twice. We're absolutely sure. But this says that one is 70 years old and the other is 45 years old. How could it be that they've been here so long and no one noticed? I can't wait to get my hands on them. Of course, we'll find them and take care of it immediately. Very good. It's important that the census leaves no one behind.
My soup can, Dolly! I haven't seen her since I was a child. My sisters and I used to play here when my father ran the shop. And sometimes he would make toys for us from the groceries in the shop. The clothes are from old magazines on the newsstand. Someone must have put it on a high shelf to keep it safe. And you made me my own soup can, Dolly, when I was a child. He's dressed quite fashionably for the 1970s. I remember that I hid him on a shelf, but then I never found him again until now. This gives me an idea for our marketing. 